Automotive alternatives have been booming in popularity as they are cheap, effective, and fun. With over 85,000 electric scooters in the U.S. in 2018, today's video will cover a tilting electric trike that sits as the second tier of a three-tier lineup. And stick around until the end of the video to look at our honorable mentions. Let's get to it! For longtime viewers, you may notice the name Arkimoto, as we have covered them a time or two in previous videos. They see the climate crisis as a significant threat to our world and use it as their drive to rethink and create sustainable transportation. Every day, 90% of drivers pilot bulky, expensive, and polluting vehicles to locations near and far. Arkimoto believes the future will be shared in and out of our vehicles, and that one day, we will be autonomous in our transportation. They have several electric vehicles in their lineup, but one of the most recent additions is not a car, but instead an alternative. Come along as we discuss the Cybertrike from Arkimoto. For the uninitiated, Arkimoto has revealed a tilting electric trike that goes by the name of Mean Lean Machine that promises to be the first of its kind. Even more recently, it has announced that there will be three tiers to its Mean Lean Machine. It ranges from a lower-end affordable e-trike to mid-range to the higher-end Mean Lean Machine. In today's video, we'll focus on that middle tier with the fourth generation of tilting electric trike, the Cybertrike Edition. Currently, the company is still in the tuning phase of the Mean Lean Machine lineup, with an official launch slated for the end of this year. You'll notice the Cybertrike's simple but effective design, thin frame, and 23-inch carbon fiber tires. The show's star is the tilting technology, though, which allows the driver to naturally lean into turns for more safety and performance. The suspension has recently been significantly improved, and the first micro future drive technology has been installed. However, we don't exactly know what that means since information is still limited. There's a small cargo shelf in the rear for simple carry-on, and some strap-on storage in the front to help. Integrated lighting is present in the front and back of the vehicle for some necessary safety, and each wheel includes an integrated hub motor. The Cybertrike Edition is all-electric. It includes a thumb throttle and replaces the traditional chain or belt with a pedal-powered generator to keep the electricity going. We don't know much about the exact specs of each tier of models or their pricing, so stick around for updates in the future if you're interested to learn more. As always, thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video. Head on down to the comment section to let us know your thoughts on the video. Your feedback is always greatly appreciated. And stick around for our honorable mentions right after this. When it comes to wheels, we like them fat. And just as well because the Fat 2.0 has three of them. Designed and manufactured by Spanish company Etnic, the Fat 2.0 is an all-terrain electric reverse tricycle built for those who like to veer off the main roads and into some adventure. The Kendra 20 by 4 inch tires prevent slipping and sliding on everything from sand to gravel, muddy terrain, even snow. The Fat 2.0 is fitted with high-quality European components, namely Sacon brakes, SKS guards, and the saddle from Cell Marco. The aluminum low-step frame is adjustable and easy to mount, providing a stable and comfortable riding experience. Also, the wheels can be easily detached for transport or if you're low on storage space. Now, while there is a pedal-only version available for those that enjoy hard work, the FAT 2.0 does come with a range of motor and battery options. The cleverly integrated central motor can be 250, 350, 500, 750, or 1000 watts, with either a 13 or 7.5 amp hour battery providing the power. There is a downside for those less than enthusiastic cyclists out there. 
The motor can only be engaged if the rider is pedaling. India hasn't always been a beacon of green environmental conscience. Still, the government's recent pledge to have 30% of all new car sales electric by 2030 is very encouraging. To help keep businesses, startups and entrepreneurs involved and invested, India set up its National Electric Mobility Mission, which created generous subsidies and tax benefits for EV sales and production incentives to encourage local EV design and manufacturing. The country had already started to see a significant increase in interest and demand for EV products over the past year as a result, despite the pandemic dramatically slowing down production. Green Design Technologies, a startup based in Bangalore in the south of India, began its journey building low-maintenance scooters for warehouse workers. Their entry into the low-speed electric vehicle market came via the Earway NXP500, a low-cost, low-speed e-trike. A steel frame surrounds the 48-volt lithium-ion battery and 500-watt motor that attaches to the rear wheel via reduction chain drive. A full charge can take up to 6 hours for a range of around 12 and a half miles. The Earway NXP500 is shipping globally, most famously through Amazon, as Green Design Technologies reinvests into further product development, research, and new innovative design. If you could fold your electric trike for storage and transport in under a second, what would you do with all that extra time? Well, if you had a Milo by Seattle company Pim Bikes & Coffee, you definitely would have the time to find out. Built from an industrial-looking, lightweight, and durable aluminum frame, this ingeniously designed machine has brought the two front wheels a little closer together, giving the whole e-trike a narrower profile while keeping much of the same lateral stability. This comes in handy when releasing the central locking mechanism. The trike folds smoothly and evenly into its new configuration in under a second. On board, a 350-watt hub motor powered by two 48-volt lithium-ion batteries can get Milo to a top speed of around 18 miles an hour over a range of 30 miles. Once you've run the batteries flat, the included charger can be plugged into any power outlet with a voltage between 120 and 220 volts and they'll be back to 100% in under four hours. At this stage, Pim Bikes and Coffee are only shipping orders directly to U.S. customers and dealerships. Still, with previous models selling out, expansion may be in the cards sometime in the future. In 2020, EUS Next was created by its parent company, EUS. The goal of this new branch was simple, but the execution would be another matter. It was built as a social business to advocate EUS's social and design initiatives. After only a couple of years, they have reached many milestones to achieve those goals, such as working in global and health sanitation for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. They also work with the Red Cross, research institutions such as the Georgia Tech Research Institution, the Bristol Robotics Laboratory, and many more. One of their recent designs tackles the plastic pollution problem with an electric cargo bike called the ZUV. So what is the ZUV exactly? ZUV stands for Zero Emission Utility Vehicle. It is being designed in collaboration with the new RAW Research and Design Studio from Rotterdam. This project was actually commissioned by a museum in Austria for the Change 2021's Climate Care Exhibition. Each chassis is 3D printed from 154 pounds of supermarket plastic waste. The ZUV utilizes a tricycle design for better urban stability and features a rib chassis. 
The rear wheel hub houses the motor, and the bike sees a top speed of 25 miles per hour when using only the throttle. Still, opportunities to replace it with a more powerful motor seem likely. You are looking at a range of around 31 miles per charge. The trike can accommodate a laden weight of up to 661 pounds, with the ZUV itself coming in at a hefty 220 pounds. The cargo box can either be strapped to the trike to transport and keep the contents secure, or removed if you don't need that extra weight or want to take on a passenger. Unfortunately, if you want one for yourself, the company has no plans to put the SUV into production right now. As always, thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video. Do you think this design has merit? Do you believe reusing plastic waste as a building material is the solution? Head down to the comment section and leave some feedback for us. Now, stick around for our honorable mentions. Rounding the bend of this video is another, and the last, trike from Duan on this list. Although maybe a three-wheeled scooter is a better term, as the Ilark seems to have taken serious inspiration from its two-wheeled friends. The design seems perfect for those who frequently move from place to place, or perhaps when running errands around town. To accommodate that, the Ilark only weighs 63 pounds and folds, so it is easily carried around and stored. Of course, its slight build means that it only carries a 300-watt motor, but it doesn't need much more. The Ilark makes do with its top speed of 15 miles per hour and range of 18 miles. It seems to be a perfect match for commuters just looking for an efficient ride to and from work. The three-wheel design helps with stability, and turning or swerving while riding does look fun. It seems to even have a little body control involved akin to a Segway. Six colors of customization are even nicer to see than iTanks 3. If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button, subscribe, and keep up to date on future posts.